Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on how to create a book cover jacket using Adobe InDesign. And here I am with the default window screen of my Adobe InDesign software, which in my opinion is the premier software for book publishing and the industry standard. Okay, so the first step is to move your mouse cursor to the upper left hand corner of the screen and click on file once you click on file select new and then select documents a new window will appear and here you want your intent to be for print number of pages should be three Facing pages should be checked, orientation should be portrait, and as far as width and height, we'll leave it as such for now. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to aim for creating a book cover jacket that measures 5 by 8, which is more or less the typical size that you would use for a average novel. Okay? So we'll leave everything else as is. Just make sure number of pages is three and facing pages is checked. Now let's press OK. OK. So now we only see one page in the current window. But what we can do is go to the sidebar and click on pages. And here you see all three pages. First page is single followed by a two page spread. So what we're going to do is we need to combine these three pages to form the jacket. So let's right click and deselect allow document pages to shuffle. Let's right click again and let's deselect or uncheck allow selected spread to shuffle. Okay, once you uncheck those two boxes, let's click on that second page click and hold the left button of your mouse and drag that page next to the first one wait for that bracket to appear and release okay same process for the third page click and drag the third page next to the second wait for the bracket release now let's close that sidebar for a better view let's close the pages sidebar or hide it and here we have the three pages okay now we want this book jacket to be five by eight inches right now the standard measurement is in pikas different measurement system so let's right click on this top ruler and change it from pikas to inches same thing for the left hand ruler right click and change it from pikas to inches now we're on an inches measurement system. So let's adjust it to 5 by 8. We can go to File and then select Document Setup and change the width of your page size to 5. Then change the height of your page size to 8. Now press OK. And here we have three pages, all five by eight inches. Now, the middle page, the second page, needs to be smaller in width, right? Because the first page represents the back cover. The second page represents the spine of your book. Whereas the third page represents the front cover. So, we need to go to the page tool so right now we're on the regular selection tool let's go to page tool third icon on the left hand margin once we click on page tool make sure the middle page is selected the second page the one that represents the spine now we're going to go to layout and then margins and columns and we're going to go into the inside and outside margins 
and change it to zero. Okay, so this is going to allow us to squeeze in that page, that middle page, as much as possible. Now press OK. All right, so as you can see, the left hand and right hand margins of this middle page has disappeared. So make sure the page tool is still selected. Make sure the middle page is highlighted. And from here, go to the top margin and you're going to see this W, which stands for width, and the H, which stands for height. The height remains the same, but the width needs to be adjusted. Now, the spine needs to be shorter in width. The width that it should be really depends on the number of pages in your book and the page dimensions of your book. So you need to determine those two factors first before defining the width of your spine. Now you can conduct a Google search and find an online book spine calculator in order to determine that for you. So first you need to know how many pages your book is going to contain and its page dimensions. Then go online, calculate the width of your spine. For our purposes, let's say the spine needs to be half an inch. So change it from five inches to 0.5 and press enter and here you have it so now you have a back cover and a spine and a front cover with the appropriate page dimensions